Fashion retailer Uniqlo has more than 1,000 stores worldwide, from Fifth Avenue in New York to Pudong in Shanghai. Its founder hopes to make it the world's number one retailer within the next decade. NHK World's Chin Li Tor spoke with Tadashi Yanai about how he plans to achieve that goal. For Yanai, dominating the Asian market is the key to Uniqlo's bid to become the biggest retailer in the world. That's despite a recent economic slowdown in China and other Asian countries. We plan to open a thousand stores in China and another thousand in the rest of Asia within the next 10 years. We're already seeing a power shift from Europe and the U.S. to Asia. The age of Asia has no doubt arrived, and this trend will continue. This may not be so obvious in the short term, but in the medium to long term, we'll see a huge jump in Asian growth. With labor costs rising in China, how will that affect Uniqlo's business model as a low-cost quality producer of fashion? Even though labor costs are rising in China, production efficiency is still better there than in any other country. At the same time, China is a major consumer of goods. The standard of living is on the rise. Domestic demand is growing and we want to be part of that market. Yanai also confirmed plans to launch production in Myanmar. The nation is considered to be Asia's final frontier. <laughs> Myanmar is also a very good market. It's been under military rule. Made in Myanmar products used to invoke a very negative reaction and couldn't be sold, especially in the U.S. and Europe. But now that Myanmar is on the road to democracy, I think we can start making our products there. Bringing GU, Uniqlo's sister brand, into Asia is another strategy for dominating the region. The label is now only sold in Japan. We also have plans to bring GU to Asia in the near future. The products are around half the price of Uniqlo's and considered affordable, even within Asia. They're basic and fashionable, but we want to refine the brand further. We believe it's suitable for the Asian market and will be well received by consumers. And within the next decade, Yanai is determined to make Uniqlo the number one global fashion retailer. How confident do you think uh, are you of achieving that goal? It's not so much about having the confidence to achieve this goal or not. But rather, we have to take up this challenge as a company. Many Japanese companies have lost that spirit of challenge. Regardless of the chance of success, our mission is to continue betting on the future. Or there will be no future to speak of. That was Tadashi Yanai, the CEO of Fast Retailing.